I think I enjoy the fact that I can show the younger generation of this is something that actually happened. These aren't the things you see, these aren't just pictures and books. Um, it did happen, these were real people, they did have real lives, and they did fight for a cause they believe in. It wasn't just, oh, let's go out and play soldier. No, they were fighting for their own specific cause, be it union or confederate. I started reenacting in 1988, so as of last year, 30 years. We typically do anywhere from eight to 10 events a year, and we do them all across the U.S., namely on the eastern side of the country, uh, ranging from Virginia all the way down to Florida and west to, say, Mississippi. Um, I've been doing it for about, wow, 20 years now. Actually, in eighth grade, I got interested in it. And I, uh, my eighth grade history teacher bought in a friend of his who was a reenactor. We were doing American history, and it kind of just got cooked on me. In the early days, battles were the big thing. But over time, as we've gotten older, the hobby has shrunk down, and with less emphasis in schools now about history, and especially the Civil War period, due to some of the contentious nature of it, uh, there's less and less reenactors. So events have gotten smaller and smaller. Uh, living histories are wonderful because you're not out marching around and, and fighting and exerting yourself as you do in a battle. Here we just live in garrison and it's fairly easy. So. It's rewarding both for the visitors and for us to tell the story because we love the history. They love to hear it. Whereas if we're just doing a battle, we're just another entity out shooting black powder. But that's fun too. But both battles and living histories combined tell the story. and. That's important. Mm -hmm. Sit like in a stew, plump up like dumplings, <laughs> or they would even take their bacon grease and make like a flapjack out of it. For you, and when you put it on a hot griddle, it would make that shh. Okay. And the, and the southern boys used to call that shh. You were cooking shh. If you did not have opposing teeth, you couldn't be in the infantry because this cartridge is made of paper. So the command is handle cartridge, he pulls it up and he puts it to his mouth, but he keeps it there. Tear cartridge. He tears it with his teeth. Uh, this is my fourth event. I've been here for every one of them. And uh, we plan to continue on coming every year. We think it's important. The city of Beaufort has been fantastic. I mean, utterly fantastic to us. We come here on a Friday and Sunday, and by the time we leave, we've always, every year, made new friends. We've had people invite us for dinner and lunch at their homes. They come and bring us goods and goodies. Uh, they love to hear the stories, and for us, it's very rewarding because it's very personal. The people of Beaufort really appreciate the history that they have here, and uh, for us, that's good because it's well received.